Hey guys, welcome back to the mind of Brandon. As indicated by the title of this video, more flat earthers fail to provide evidence that the earth is flat. Now to recap, in previous videos I have challenged the flat earthers to provide actual evidence for a flat earth. Now I have already addressed some of their responses, but today I'm going to be addressing more flat earther responses. Uh, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and do a little bit of a survey over some of the evidence that has been presented for a ball-shaped Earth. And I just want to kind of look at how that evidence does against the rebuttals that we see from the Flat Earther community. One of the earliest arguments made for a ball-shaped Earth was the curved shadow that the Earth cast on the Moon during a lunar eclipse. Now the very first rebuttal that I heard about from the modern Flat Earther community uh, is that this curved shadow that we're seeing on the moon during a lunar eclipse, that's not the Earth's shadow, that's the shadow from an invisible anti-moon. There's this invisible anti-moon that is casting this curved shadow on the visible moon. Now. What I want to point out here is that this invisible anti-moon explanation is really only an alternative explanation that is not actually corroborated with any evidence. We don't have evidence for an invisible anti-moon, right? That's what's casting this shadow. Uh, I mean, if you guys disagree, feel free to leave comments down below directing me to that evidence. Uh, but, you know, so far as I'm aware, we don't actually have evidence for an invisible anti-moon. So it really is only an alternative explanation that's substantiated by nothing. Uh, that being said, the Flat Earther community has different schools of thought, uh, and so they will have different rebuttals uh, to the same piece of evidence. Uh, another rebuttal that I've come across is this idea that the moon is a holographic projection. It's just a, a hologram being projected onto the sky dome. And so the curved shadow that we see on the moon during a lunar eclipse, well that's just part of the projection. Okay, again, where is the evidence to substantiate this? There is no evidence that the moon is just a holographic projection. If you disagree, Feel free to go into the comments section and direct me to where that evidence is. At the present time, I have not seen any evidence that the moon is just a holographic projection. Okay, now with that being said, it's totally fair and reasonable to ask, okay, what is the evidence that this curved shadow we're seeing on the moon during a lunar eclipse is coming from the Earth? Where's the evidence that the Earth is the source of that shadow. What is the evidence to substantiate this idea that Earth has come between the Sun and the Moon, and so that's why we're seeing that curved shadow on the Moon? Okay, totally fair and reasonable question. That being said, it's also not too hard to put together that really all you gotta do here is you know watch the movements of the sun and the moon, pay attention to how much time it takes the sun to go like that, how much time it takes for it to reappear after it has disappeared, you know, how long does it take for it to appear on this horizon after it's gone down at that horizon, right? And so you can actually use this data to make predictions about where the sun is when you cannot see it. And let's face it, when the sun is no longer visible to the inhabitants of one part of the world, there's another part of the world where it's still visible. And this of course allows us to test the validity of our predictions. We're actually really good at accurately predicting where the sun is going to be. Granted, the modern flat earth model has been developed to be used in the same way, but when we factor in the movement of all the other stars, and the fact that there is one set of stars viewable from the northern hemisphere, and a different set of stars viewable from the southern hemisphere that are moving in the opposite direction, that's when the flat earth model collapses. So just like that, this alternative model presented by the flat earthers is debunked. It's invalidated by the actual evidence that is actually available to us. 
And thus, if we return to our original piece of evidence that was under dispute, the idea that the Earth is passing between the Sun and Moon during a lunar eclipse, and thus the idea that Earth is the source of the curved shadow on the Moon, is corroborated with the evidence that is actually available to us, while the invisible anti-Moon and the holographic Moon remain unsubstantiated. But the most obvious evidence for the ball-shaped Earth is, of course, the space photos demonstrating that the Earth is in the shape of a ball. But of course, the Flat Earther rebuttal here is that these space photos are a hoax. NASA has faked them. Now, those are some pretty serious allegations, right? These are some pretty extraordinary claims being made against NASA. And extraordinary claims do require extraordinary evidence to substantiate them. So NASA is going to be innocent until proven guilty. So, so if, if you want to corroborate this case that NASA is faking all their you know, photos and footage of the Earth from space, uh, you've got to have some pretty good evidence to present that that is the case. And so far, I haven't seen it. So with that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and respond to some comments from some flat earthers. Vacuum means there is nothing, so what is bending? This flat earther is responding to the idea that gravity can uh, warp space-time, that the vacuum of space can be curved by gravity. Uh, now, if you're wondering what the hell does that have to do with the shape of the Earth, that is a good question. It's really of only tangential relevance to these discussions on uh, whether or not the Earth is flat. And it, it does seem to be a way of distracting from the main issue at hand. What is the evidence for a flat Earth? A lot of flat Earthers just want to, you know, talk about something else. <laughs> but um, to answer this guy's question, you know, he says, you know, a vacuum means that there's nothing. So what is it that's bending? Okay, well, a vacuum is uh, considered to contain nothing in the sense that it's perceived as void of matter. Okay, now that does not mean that it contains literally the complete absence of anything at all, including any abstract concept of something with the potential for change. Uh, actually, a vacuum contains within it energy. We call it vacuum energy. I'm surprised you've never heard of it. But then again, I probably shouldn't be since you are, after all, a flat earther. And the moon is not on a bus, it's in the supposed vacuum. Well, to clarify, it's in a gravitational field in the vacuum. It's in the Earth's gravitational field. I talked about this in the video that you're commenting on. Uh, that video right there for anyone who hasn't seen it and needs more context. The solar system is a plane, so that means space only bends one way? Well, that was not entirely coherent. Is that a statement or a question? I'm not claiming that space only bends in one direction. Are you? On the top or the bottom, the thing with the flat Earth is that it's flat, and everything we see makes sense. And with a ball, there is all this confusing shit that tells us what we see is wrong, telling us not to trust ourselves. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, seriously, trust your eyes, Flat Earther. Trust your eyes. Trust your eyes, Flat Earther. Trust your eyes. Is there a way to get Neil in here for two seconds to, to explain this? Neil, if you could just take a seat for a second. I got I, I need an answer to this. I saw something over the weekend. Just seat this, you got the microphone, the seat. Yeah. It's all ready for all like, ready somebody for to come in. Somebody somebody comes just in. in case. Just in case. We, we never know. <laughs> all right. Well. I was watching some videos over the weekend that were uh -huh. preposterous. Yeah. There are so many conspiracy theories and whatnot around that you can't even keep track of them. This one blew my mind. The earth is flat. Have you heard the flat earther people that believe the earth is flat? 
This is a deep failure of our educational system. Thank you. <laughs> so I've stopped chasing after people with those belief systems because that, I don't see the point. That there's something deeper going on in our society that somehow enables people to believe they're making cogent arguments yeah. and they're not. And they're not. And so, so you know why I think it is the way we teach science is you're just some empty vessel and we pour the science into you and then you regurgitate it on an exam. Right. Whereas science is a way of thinking. It's a way of understanding and probing the operations of nature. You and I try to show people that science is a way of understanding. Right. And you can't just pull stuff out of your ass and claim that it's science because <laughs> you, you throw some science words behind it. Right. Today is the first full day of Ramadan, mm -hmm. which is a uh, holy day in the, in the Muslim calendar. And in Ramadan, you fast during the day and you get to eat at night. Whatever the number of days, you're fasting during the day when the sun is up and then you get to eat at night. Well, it turns out, I was recently in Dubai where they have the tallest building in the world. Sure. And I did a quick calculation and I confirmed it with others there that in fact, they print separate tables for residents at the top of this building because the sun sets ah. later if you are at the top of that building of than if you are at the base. So the sun sets two minutes later for you at the top because you're seeing that much farther over the right, earth over curvature the of the earth so clearly the notion that the flat earth makes sense with everything we see but everything associated with the globe earth is confusing and doesn't make any sense that's just a load of hooey i mean when we present actual evidence that substantiates a bowl-shaped earth all we ever get back from the flat earthers is just alternative explanations that aren't actually substantiated with any evidence. Get over yourself. The Earth is flat, and you will know this soon. Lolo, have fun. So you're not going to present any evidence that the Earth is flat, but soon I will just somehow magically know that the Earth is flat, basically. <laughs> Let's look at the next comment. Why is it that mean sea level, as used in construction as a means of measurement and control points, cannot show one measurable inch of curvature in any given one mile when re-established above the Earth's surface? Or would that be proof, as water read for a means measurement 72% of Earth is flat, with a change in elevation of over 12 miles from the depths of the oceans to the peak of the highest mountain? This is a very ligament question, but can only be answered by people who are informed on how to use MSL as a measurement. But it hurts the heliocentric theory, so I get childishly attacked for asking a ligament question. So if you can't read MSL to perform a repeatable test that results in a flat measurement, then please just say so and I will move on. Well, that was actually not entirely coherent, but I think the gist of what he's trying to say is no matter how high up in elevation you go, there's never going to be any evidence whatsoever for curvature, which is actually totally bogus. When you're a ship at sea and you look out, your horizon in every direction is the same distance from you. It depends on your height above the sea level. That's why ship decks are high. They see farther beyond the curvature of the earth than you do just standing on the main deck. So suffice it to say, I still have not seen any evidence to substantiate this idea that the Earth is flat. Uh, that being said, I will be responding to uh, another flat earther next week. So to be continued, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. If you're interested in watching my future videos, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. So have a good one, guys, and peace.